Hey there, welcome to our kitchen. I'm Jenny, and this is Emily, and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today, we're bringing the world to your table with a classic French dish, beef bourguignon. That's right, Jenny. Today, we are making that traditional French beef stew, but we're simplifying it with the help of our slow cooker. Yeah, so we've already gotten started. Um, we've cooked off some bacon, and it's chopped up bacon, cooked it, and we've put it into the pan, and we've gotten rid of most of that bacon grease. We're gonna save a little bit of it to cook our beef. So I'm going to go ahead and get the beef into the pan. Ooh. There, I can take that for Thank you. Thank you. I'll season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. So what we are looking for here is getting a nice sear on the outside of this beef. It'll take about one to two minutes per side. All right, this looks pretty good. Everything is nice and browned. So the whole goal of this isn't to cook the beef entirely. Instead, we're just searing the outsides to really lock in and create some of that nice flavor. Yeah. All right, so next up, getting this into the <laughs> slow cooker. I'll help you out. <laughs> Arm workout, a lot of beef. Try not to <laughs> throw everything around. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna get our wine into the pan. And once that's in there, we're just going to bring this to a simmer and let it reduce for about three minutes. And we're just using a cup of red wine. You could also use uh, chicken broth if you don't want to add the alcohol to this dish. A lot of it will cook off, not only here, but also in the slow cooker. Um, and another good tip is to use a wine that you would drink yourself. Yes, definitely. Uh, definitely want to add some high quality wine to these dishes. All right, so the wine is looking nice and reduced, so we're going to go ahead and add in our chicken broth here. Perfect. And I can take this and stick this in here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of flour um, and whisk this in. We're using a gluten-free flour today, but you could use a normal all-purpose flour as well if you don't need to eat gluten-free. Just whisking this until there are no clumps. And we'll get the tomato sauce in here. And then we have a low sodium tamari for our gluten free, um, but you could also use just a low sodium soy sauce. Sure. All right, all right. So, this beef bourguignon typically um, or traditionally was used as kind of a peasant dish to tenderize tougher cuts of meat. And what I really like about this dish is that there are a lot of different complex flavors going on. So it's super delicious, but we're making it quite a bit simpler with the help of our slow cooker, which we absolutely love. Yes, and the sauce is looking nice and good. It's thickened, there are no clumps, and it's well combined. So let's get it into the slow cooker. Perfect. Oops, actually, gotta add the oh. rest of this. Can't forget that. Yeah, there won't be enough liquid to cook everything. Okay. Perfect. Thank for you. That looks Yum. good it though. It just smells amazing. You can um, definitely smell the wine that's cooked off in here and um, all the flavors are I'm sure coming together yes. nicely. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so then the rest of our ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic. Then a little bit of fresh thyme that we've just minced up. A lot of great flavors there. Yes, and then our vegetables. We have a couple of carrots that we've just peeled and cut into coins. Our baby red potatoes, which aren't so much babies. <laughs> you could also, we've just had, have them, but you could quarter them to make them a little bit smaller. And then finally, we have a bunch of button mushrooms that we've just sliced. And we'll add this all in and then give it a good try stir. and give that a stir. <laughs> yeah, very full here, but so many great vegetables in here. And it really was super simple to put together. Yep. All right. That looks good. Perfect. Cover this. Now, you would typically cook this on low for six to eight hours or high for four to six, but we already have some cooked and ready oh. to try. So the last step, which is optional, is just adding a garnish of some fresh parsley. This just adds a nice bright flavor and a little pop of color to uh, your final stew. 
It still looks beautiful. All right, so I cannot wait to dig in. This has got to be one of my favorites. Yes, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. There's so many good flavors Yeah, going it's just on. really rich and so simple, and I absolutely love the slow cooker. Perfect for the cold weather yes. season. We hope you give this simple slow cooker meal a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit fastfoods.com.